uh, Christos, go ahead. Hello, Malcolm. Congratulations on the win and the performance as well. How inspirational for you was DJ McConnell's performance tonight? And in the clutch moments, and especially three or four minutes of the game, the last four, three or four minutes of the game, did you feel more responsible to lead your team on the court? You know, TJ was phenomenal tonight. Um, you know, that's a that's as good of a game you're going to see from a player, honestly, in the NBA that you're going to see. He played at an extremely high level tonight. Um, and I think defensively was able to anchor us. Uh, and, you know, Colin played good. Sexton, he played well, really well. But TJ was able to get some steals, get his hands on a few balls that um, allowed us to to get out and transition to get some easy buckets to stop their runs. Um, so he was amazing tonight. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the last three or four minutes, it, you know, I felt like Knights, there. there's Domas. They're, they're different guys we rely on on the offensive end. Um, and tonight it was me, um, especially at the end of the game, making shots, uh, getting to the line, making free throws. Um, you know, it was, it's it's something I'm, I'm, you know, always ready to do. Uh, Jay Michael, you got anything? Yeah. Uh, Malcolm, the way you guys close, I was going to ask you about that. Um, you were, seem to be much more poised as a group in executing. You know, I know Justin didn't shoot the ball well, but he hit that big three after Dr Domas drew three defenders, that sort of stuff. Is that kind of a carryover, you think, from the way you guys played defensively, that somehow it led to smoother offensive execution? Is that too simplistic, or is it more complex than that? I'm not sure your question. You mean? Well, meaning that you guys were so efficient in terms of the way you close the game offensively was what you did defensively kind of carried over by the time you got to that point in the fourth quarter. Was that different than maybe what you've experienced in these games on the strip? Well, you know, tonight our defense, you know, our defense has been the problem for the past, you know, four games. And, you know, the games, the, all the games we've lost this season, our defense is the problem. It's not offense. Um, and tonight it was much of the same in that first half, not being able to get stops. And, uh, you know, I think coach did a really good job sort of rotating through uh, different types of defenses from man to box and one to two, three, trying to figure out what would work. And the box and one was the one that really worked for us being active. And we had a specific group in that third quarter. And then to start the fourth, that I uh, did a great job, um, you know, getting us back in the game. And then that fourth, the end of the fourth, you know, we, we were able to finish, but it was all because of the box and one. It was all because of the defense. Um, and then offensively, man, I thought we were, I thought we, you know, shared the ball. I thought we made shots when we needed to. Like Justin's a guy, usually every game he's making shots, like every game. Uh, but when he's not, he makes shots at the right moment. Um, so when you have guys like that, he's a seasoned vet. He's always going to step up to take and make a big shot. Um, you know, these are the games you, you end up closing out. Scott? Yeah, Malcolm, what's it like to witness in person, be part of a game where a guy has a career game, especially when he's your teammate? Oh, it's awesome. Um, especially a guy like TJ, he's the ultimate teammate itself. Um, the way he treats, uh, you know, his teammates, the way he uh, encourages everybody on the floor. Um, he's a great teammate. So to see him have the game and the night he did uh, is amazing. It's, it's, you know, we're all, we're all extremely happy for him. Pat Boyle. Malcolm, when you win a game in the fashion that you did tonight, can that impact future games down the road? And if so, how can you make tonight work for you as early as uh, tomorrow against Denver? Uh, we got to have carryover. We got to have carryover. We got to take the good um, and, and sort of embrace that and make sure that continues tomorrow night. Of course, we're playing a different team that has different strengths and different weaknesses, but the way we, the energy that we play with on the defensive end and the way we play together on offense, that's the stuff that has to stick and, and stay for tomorrow night's game. Scott? Yeah, Malcolm, can you describe what the locker room scene was like after not only you guys able to get a win on this road trip, but able to celebrate with TJ? Yeah, you know, uh, it was definitely a mix, a celebration of both. Um, you know, we had dropped three in a row on a road trip. You know, dropping all four would have been would have been a terrible would have been a terrible feeling, especially going home to our last game, playing a really good team, going into All Star break. It would have all been bad. Um, but to get that last game against a team that was actually rolling, that had won a, a few games in a row, um, was a good feeling. And then to have, um, you know, one of your teammates have an amazing game like TJ, um, you know, it, it definitely complemented the, the feeling, of, the good feeling of winning. Uh, Tony East. 
Malcolm, you guys mentioned uh, the defense after the Philly game being one of the struggles, and you mentioned the first half defense tonight not being up to the standard you guys have. Can you point to anything specifically that changed for you guys in the second half and specifically that fourth quarter that made you guys more effective on that end? Energy and then the adjustment to go to box and one. Those are the two things. Um, you know, as soon as we went to the box and one, we started being more active. We started getting more deflections. We started playing the passing lanes, getting steals, rebounding the ball better. Um, and, you know, that led to that led to transition buckets that led to, you know, easy, easy points on the other. Was that box and one uh, all Nate's call at that time? Yeah, all Nate's call. Thank you. All righty, Malcolm, thank you. Appreciate it.